morning from the secret garden. The birds are a little bit further down in the trees because they're not sure because we have the stick monster here. So they're not sure do they want to come to this crow's feeder or not. Oops, I just startled someone. Planted a few little Irish bread primroses in the the garden here. I'll show you. I'll walk over now. So please ignore the sound of Mr. Strimming some of the rushes. Just a few, anyways, in the background. So the prim primroses are finishing, but these are Irish bread hardy primroses, not like the great big, you know, big flowered ones you see in the shops. Um, this is one that will come back every year. And I have another, this is Avondale, a pink, and here in an even little bit shadier spot. Well, later in the day, the sun will hit here. This is Clada, and Clada has a lovely dark leaf. And I've paired it next to the hellebore I have, which is finishing, but with a really deep flower. So I think they look nice together here under a very mossy damson offshoot and here we see the other part of the secret garden that we usually look at directly when I'm sitting in the chair and some of the bluebells we've transplanted so I'm going to over the the coming years get more blue uh, bluebells yeah more bluebells but more um, woodland plants native ones and probably some cultivated ones as well that you know garden cultivars that won't escape and go everywhere that it plants that will enjoy the semi shade here and this lovely little spot so this is where we have the snowdrops which have died back now and I've got some where is it here we go wild garlic is coming up here and we have a little one there so this will spread and we're looking forward to that because I do enjoy wild garlic I enjoy eating it in a bit of pasta and a bit of salad it's actually I think it's probably a bit better I'm not sure about garlic pe uh, the wild garlic pesto sometimes sometimes to me it has a bit of I don't know a taste a bitter kind of taste but um a little bit maybe is okay but it's beautiful in the salad I, I really recommend it in the salad and you can eat the flowers too when they open somebody is enjoying grazing <laughs> yeah and over I'll zoom in there is where we have the trail cam looking out to see the nighttime activities of the pine marten and the foxes occasional rodent and i really want to see the stoat the stoat is very elusive on the trail cam i found the stoat poop i found some more today but i have not yet seen the stoat 